and aid organizations in Sudan also say they're monitoring increased violations against women and girls. They say victims are being kidnapped from Khartoum and then being sold in several areas of Darfur. One youth group says that fighters from the Rapid Support Forces are involved. It says it's concerned that the violations could also extend to the rest of the country. Well, let's go to our correspondent, Hiba Morgan, in the capital, Khartoum. Hiba, the situation in Darfur has been deteriorating for months. Can you give us a sense of what's happening there now? Well, my, while most of the violence over the past few months has been focused in West Darfur, this time we're seeing increased violence as fighting continues between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary rapid support forces in South Darfur, specifically in the city of Niala. Now, there are still many civilians who are uh, uh, who stay behind in Niala, unable to flee from the conflict uh, between the two sides. The Darfur Bar Association said that 16 civilians were killed, uh, including a family where nearly all of the family members were killed with the exception of one and they say that those who have fled to displacement camps are not safe either and that they're concerned that other uh, people who have been previously displaced as a result of the fighting in Darfur that has been ongoing for 20 years will not have anywhere to go to so they've urged both sides to uh, end the fighting to protect civilian lives but they say that the fighting does continue that uh, civilians remain to be caught up in the crossfire, falling uh, uh, as casualties as a result of the fighting, with nowhere to go to, especially because the violence seems to be surrounding them from mm. every side. Hiba, and we know that fighting is also continuing, not only in Darfur, but elsewhere in the country too. Yes, we've seen airstrikes here in the capital, Khartoum. There's been airstrikes in the northern part of the capital. There's also airstrikes in the southern part of the capital between uh, uh, Khartoum and Jazeera State. That's a state in the central part of Sudan. Sudanese army sources say that they were targeting a convoy of the paramilitary rapid support forces that were trying to head to the central part of the country. Uh, sources also said that the RSF carried out a drone attack uh, here in Umdurman, targeting an army position, killing at least four and wounding many others. They say that they also launched airstrikes uh, against the positions where the drone uh, took off from in the northern part of the capital. And these are sounds that we can hear regularly. These are artilleries being fired from the city of Umdurman towards the northern part of the capital. So it's not only Darfur that is right now being uh, engulfed in the fighting. The capital, Khartoum, is also witnessing continued fighting between the two sides. Hiba Morgan there with the latest for us from the ground in the Sudanese capital. Thank you so much, Hiba, and do stay safe.